today on The Real. Wake up, sleeping beauties. We're showing you how to make your sleep better. It's an anti-snore chin strap. Then which lucky fan is gonna go big or go home? And how to be a good breakup friend. You're not that heartbroken if you on Instagram, I'm sorry. You just want attention. The Real. To this literally Quora.com posed this question if someone overhears a conversation someone is having with another person that was never meant for their ears do they have the right to judge what about getting involved mm -hmm. and should you be listening to the other person's conversations anyway Boom. absolutely uh, right so <laughs> ladies let's be real here have you ever overheard a stranger's conversation and wanted to butt in Oh. I absolutely have overheard somebody's conversation. I highly recommend it. It's quite entertaining. <laughs> uh, do not butt in. I don't care what's going on over there. You mind your business. Unless you want to get beat up in a grocery store. Now, I have to say, I was at the airport one time, and we're getting in line, getting ready to get on the plane, and it was this lady and her husband, and the lady was, like, going off on her husband yeah. because he was on the phone, and she was talking really loud to where everybody could hear. Oh, gosh. And she was getting upset, and she was like, you know, you need to get off the phone with that other woman. I just hate oh. you, and I just can't stand this. Oh. And... You know me being Auntie Lonnie, right? Yeah. I'm like, I don't care how old you are. If I feel like something like that, I'm going to butt in because she was so emotional. She was distraught. And so, you know, he wouldn't get off the phone. And so I said, you would you get off the phone? <laughs> and he got off the phone. And then I said, it's going to be all right. I said, I don't know where y'all going, if you're getting on a plane with us, but both of y'all need to calm down. And let's just get on this plane, and let's just have a good flight, and then oh. y'all can fight when you get off the plane, <laughs> and that's what we did. That's my deal. Oh, my gosh. That I is have so a and I didn't have a... I didn't have a great experience. I was living in an apartment complex. I befriended this couple, um, and they had, like, a really, like, bad argument mm -hmm. they were yelling and then automatically I just take the woman's side and I got out there and you know I wanted to you know protect her but was then in the hallway I was you no know, you can hear them they were on uh, the lower level yeah. uh, and I had uh, an apartment complex where you had that like opening yeah, of, like, like a, a courtyard a courtyard yes yeah. and uh, I remember I, I got in the middle of them and I said hey you leave her alone, just like that. Uh -huh. But then the next day, they acted like nothing ever happened. They were lovey-dovey. So guess who looked like the idiot? I you. did. I did. Yeah. So I learned. That's why my name is Bennett, and I ain't in it. Well, you know that. what? But if I if hear, swinging, if I hear I something cop. where they're asking for help, Yes. You know, if it's yeah. a serious thing where it's there asking, because I've lived, you know, those yeah, days in the apartments where, you know, you need, you could hear some things happening and you can hear cries for help. If it's a cry for help, I'm going to call the police. Yes. I ain't going down yeah, there. Absolutely. You know, because I might get, you don't want these fist cuffs oh on my God. all right? You know what, though? I have to say, I... I share a room with Tam, mm -hmm. and we we actually don't have a door. We don't on our space. We have you a sliding. Can, you can hear everything that goes on in our rooms, but I have the ability to just kind of phase out sound. I think that's why sometimes I kind of lose myself in the moment. You guys are like, Jeannie, <laughs> Jeannie, are you listening? I'm like, well, huh? Because I grew up in a house with 15 people at one point, so you know, you just get to a point where you know how to drown out noise. Like, you don't listen hearing. to other people's business. So when it comes to friends, I, I don't listen to their stuff. In fact, if I hear you on the phone or something, I know how to like zone it out so I don't get in your business. But if it's a stranger, oh, I'm in it to win it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'd be so, all up in the conversation. This one time I was in a restaurant in the Lower East Village and the tables are really close to each other and I was listening to this woman. She was 
She had cheated on her husband, slept with another man in her bed at home, Ooh. but I guess her husband was coming home early, so she was on the phone to get her girlfriend to help her clean up the mess. <gasps> so I'm sitting there on... Can uh, I know, it was so Ooh. juicy, so I got all the details. So I'm sitting next to her. She's explaining, like, you gotta find, there's a condom, there's a condom wrapper somewhere. <gasps> no, I, it's a purple condom wrapper. Look under the bed, look behind the pillows. Is it in the trash? I didn't flush it down the toilet. Girl, no, I know it's there, you gotta find it. He's, he's leaving the airport right now. Jay the whole thing, I was like, oh my God. Guys, I was listening so deep on this conversation. I was leaning, like, but I didn't realize how far I was leaning. I fell on top of her. And then she was like, excuse me. The least you could have done was help her find the condom key. I know. So then I had to pretend that I lost a pen. So I said, oh, I just dropped a pen. Could you? It's go and she's like, well, what color was it? I was like, purple. I mean, yes. The worst situation. Oh my yes, so she knew, I yes. knew, and I just like called for the check and I had to get out of there, but I'm dying to know what happened and if she got caught. Lady, oh. if you had a purple condom in your bed and your husband was on the way from the airport, please hit us up on at the real daytime. <laughs> Jeannie Mai you. wants to know, yeah, okay? I know, okay. I know right? Uh, Crazy. Well, while we're on the topic of listening, what do you do when, when your friend tells you she just broke up with her boyfriend and is devastated? Oh, oh. Ooh, I hate oh, this. Yes, now, according to Madame Noir, you should give your friend time to vent and grieve, but... Be careful not to coddle her. Yes. For example, don't let her talk all day about the breakup mm -hmm. because, you know, they say that she won't be willing to, you know, move, do the things out. to move, yes. Oh, yes. you know, get over it. Yes. Like going outdoors and investing time in the career. Yes. So, I mean, what do you guys do when your girlfriend breaks up? And do you do that? What do you do? I agree with this. There's, there's an element of truth to this, although it hurts at the time. Because yeah. I remember when you get, when you go through a bad breakup, it sucks. it's so weird to wake up and all of a sudden, before your eyes even open, you remember that your heart is broken. Like, it feels so yeah, heavy. You're terrible. right. You cry, right? But, yo, I remember I, growing up with breakups in my house with Mama Mai, she's that type. She won't let you suffer. She'll, she pushed open my door one time when I was like, I looked like Carrie in Sex in the City yes. when Mr. Big kind of left her oh, at the altar. Yes. I looked like that on high definition. Bad, you know what bad. I mean? Like, just bad. And Mama Mai is the type to just be like, get up, you don't cry. Why you cry for? He's fat anyway. He don't have a good one. <laughs> He's stupid. You smart. Go make yourself pretty. Hurry up. And she would just yell. And it was funny, but at the same time, like, there's a part to it that actually makes you, no, get up. Put one leg in front of the other. Nice and dress. she laid out an outfit for me. And I'll never forget this. She laid out a really colorful dress for me. And she put a red lipstick down. And for some reason, I just put it on. And it therapeutically made me feel better because I was looking at myself in the mirror and trying to clean myself up and yeah. get it together. Yeah. And for women, really, style helps you. I call it therapy. It gives yeah. you a therapeutic feel to get yourself back on your feet when you just put something on and slap My on a red lip. Joe always says, you know? better to look good than to feel good. Okay. And I actually agree with that yeah. because... When you look Sometimes you when you look yeah. better, you almost are like, oh, I'm not that miserable. Even yes. if your heart is broken, if you actually just get yourself together yes. and you start just going forward, just, you know, it's almost like faking it till you fake it till you make, make it. it. You act like everything's okay, and one day you wake up and you're like, everything is okay. I'm gonna be all right. Um, what I love about my friends is they always fight back with the word of God. Because usually after a breakup, my spirit is usually just, just broken. You don't feel good. Yeah. And one of their main things is making sure that I get back on the right track. I do have this cousin. His name is Jerome. Y'all met him. Yeah. Um, Jerome, he was on Rami Me and Rome. Tamira. Jerome's in the house. You better watch your mouth. He loves the show, by the way. He watches it every day. Hi, Jerome. Day. We love you. But wow. Jerome is, uh, he's no nonsense. I can remember I uh, broke up with my college boyfriend, and he, he was staying with us for two weeks. And he gave me a week to mourn. Mm -hmm. After that, he was like, uh-uh. The self-pity party is over. Yes. Then I remember he looked at me and he said, he said, Tamara, uh-uh. You are too fly to be acting like this. Yeah. He said, do you know who you are? But better yet, do you know whose you are? You are the princess of the oh. most high. You better wake up and walk in your yeah. purpose. Yeah. And I was like, oh, yeah. okay, all right. 
Let's and see. literally, I was over it. So I appreciate my friends yes. to shake me up with my yes. face. That was yes. definitely well, a little better than my mind. Yes. <laughs> it, depending on how, what the breakup is for my friends. Like, if it was a long term, then I, I set boundaries. So if it's like a long term relationship, mm -hmm. you know, I give them a little more time. But if it's a short term, then I give them like two weeks. I, yeah. I give them more than a week. That's, I give them about okay. two weeks where I, I'm, I'm taking their phone calls, I'm listening to the stories and the uh, memory lane. The and stories go no on good. and on. And you know, because I'll go with you. Yes, girl, I knew it. I knew back then at Easter he wasn't no good. I tried to tell you. I'm not but doing you it. Wasn't listening. I'm not doing it. Let me tell you. But maybe, wait a minute. Maybe I'm a bad friend. Because after the two weeks, then now I'm like, and I don't tell them. See, this is the thing. I don't let them know. I just give, my, in my mind, two weeks. Because you also have to remember, you're going through the relationship with them, too. Yeah. And it's not fair to you yes. or your friendship with them to sit here and let that person keep them down. Mm -hmm. So what I'll do is that if she brings it up, then I'll bring up another subject or I'll take her out or I'll do something. And, yeah. and this is with guys, too. If guys break up, it's really hard with guys. You got to really hear really? some stories, you know. So I try to, I try to be a good friend and take their mind off of the breakup, usually after two or three weeks, you know, because yeah. that's the best way to, to handle reasonable. it and help them. It is. Yeah. yeah. I feel like people with broken hearts, I like to deal with them like infants. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta self-soothe people, okay? Mm. Like, you know how they say babies, you shouldn't pick them up every single time they cry and coddle them? Mm -hmm. I just sometimes think that we naturally... And maybe as a woman, I feel we naturally can heal ourselves. I feel like sometimes time alone, time spent just renewing yourself. Resilient. Resi yeah, we are resilient. You can bounce back. I think the coddling thing just does not work. It actually is, is not helpful. It takes well, that's what backwards. they're saying. Don't coddle. Don't that's coddle them. Saying. Yeah, you have to learn how to self so You have to learn how if everything in your life is falling apart, your power is that you can make yourself happy. That you are your own happiness and you can move on and move forward. But sometimes you need to talk, you know, talk it no, out. I don't no. get to talk it out. Yes. I no. like to. No, I'm not calling nobody when I'm really sad. Adrian, really? No, no Jeannie. It's, I will when I'm say really that. sad, I'm not yeah. calling you just like anybody. You to deal with it on alone. your own. How did you. Okay, so if your sister broke up with yeah. someone, how did you handle that? Would you coddle her, you know, just a little bit? Or were no, you I, the chick that just just let her cry? I'm not going to go ghost on you. Okay. But I'm absolutely going to say, hey, I love you. I think I actually would encourage them to take time Got it. to get happy. But I, I feel like even people that say that they're heartbroken and every other Instagram is a quote about them being heart. <laughs> you're not that heartbroken if you're on Instagram. I'm sorry. Well, see, that's you're not it. that sad. Yeah. You just want attention. Well, sometimes, hey, you just got to get it out, yes. though. But yeah, I think they, it makes when they you and feel that's what better. Jesus is for. When they do it all the time. Yeah, but Angel, you had to have one moment where something hurt so bad. You just you may not have told everybody the same story over and over, but no, you told I one if person. If it really hurts, and then I'm absolutely not telling anybody. If it really hurt. am I the only one? Like, but if I'm really, then I don't want to talk to anybody. But you allow yourself to go through those emotions yes, and those feelings, correct? And that's, because if that's you happening. don't, yes. that's when it becomes detrimental and it For may sure. come out in, you know, other areas. Yeah. It's really yes. important to allow yourself to, to feel but those emotions. Then what I just don't want to emotionally mean. vomit on people. No, no okay. but you're not being a, but a true friend is not that. A, that's yes. why I said sometimes and you know who you can And a true friend can be a barf bag sometimes right. for you if you need. Right. Yeah. But what I agree with you because some people now, because of Facebook and social media, yes. they put all their business and you gotta see those sad quotes and stuff like that. Yes. We're like, you know, I'm it's sorry. like at least one or two. <laughs> no, I no. Been one or two. Uh, trust no. me, I've been heartbroken. I've been sad. No. I'm so sad. I don't. I'm not looking at Instagram. Like something is really going on in my life. It's like I'm sorry. Like when there's been a death in the family. Okay, maybe this is where I think uh, it's weird. Okay, I think it's weird when people the next day are Instagramming and oh. stuff. I, if, yeah. I'm, if my heart but is really broken I, and someone passed away, I'm not on Instagram. Okay, I think handling, I think handling a breakup is different than handling grief, especially on social media, because I think on social media, handling grief, you know, like, you, you, it's more of an announcement. Like, when my cousin Skillet passed, you know, I just made an announcement because I talk about him so much, so I wanted people to know. Yeah. Whereas a breakup, that's something different because, you know, the people are still living, yeah, you know? Yeah, clearly, And it's just yeah. some people are just yeah. like... But I they just, using it as Those an long quotes of no men yeah. are no good, and no. I just... It's I'm like, oh, my God. I'm, 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 I'm,
something. No, I'm thinking of positive quotes to get you out of the funk. No, but no, we talk about, about the no. negative, like they, uh, they do uh, the uh, Adele uh, song. Yeah, Your heart is really broken. You're not on there thinking a quote, like you're just not. You, you're trying to mend yourself. And I think that when I say be on your own, Maybe I'm different. When I'm alone, I renew myself. Yes. When yeah. I get time to be by myself, I actually find my happy. I find yes. my help. I fall in love with myself again. I find out the things I enjoy doing on my own, and I remind myself, I'm happy just on my own, and that's good enough. Yeah, well, but I'm not going to lie. If you're going through a breakup, and you post saucy pictures yeah. of yourself on Instagram, that's and you're saying, feeling yourself, an and it's like sexy, and you can see that that person's really trying to win some likes. And that's I'm great. like, yes, girl, like, like, like. You can get over him. If you can get the energy up to get saucy and put your sexy Boom. pictures, you're on your way out. Yes, yes. there is a light at the end of the tunnel. All the way up. Now, do you remember being a kid and stomping when you didn't get your way? No? All right, maybe I was the only one. I, or I rolling do. your eyes when <laughs> someone said something you didn't like. I still have that problem. Or laughing at an inappropriate time. These are all my issues. <laughs> <laughs> According to Psychology Today, most adults are developmentally delayed in their emotions. Ooh. Interesting. All right, ladies, what do you do till this day that would be considered childish? Do you Back still do that things? Back to fact, I totally agree. I think as adults, we double, triple, quadruple think what we do, yeah. we think about it. So then we're not as immediate as kids. Like kids don't think about what you're gonna say about them. They just immediately react. They're less react. filtered. Yes. I think that's dope. I love that. I think I am happy re to report that my inner child is ageless. Yeah. I don't She's ever alive. want to age inside here. Yeah. Right. Like, I don't want to be worried about what you're going to think about me when I come out dancing on top of your <laughs> lap, Lonnie. You know what I mean? Like, you, I think as soon as, yeah. yes, you've aged when you start caring too much about what other people think. And I, 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 I agree with that. And that's why I roll my eyes at you <laughs> when you do that. I'll be like... <laughs> yeah. I have an eye rolling totally. problem. I roll my eyes when I don't even notice I'm rolling my eyes. I also you know stick mean? out my tongue. You know, but like, mm. yeah, I see that. Yes, you do do that. Lonnie's <laughs> totally a kid inside, man. Lonnie will mess with you. She will tease you, make make fun of you, and like do little tricks on you that I'm like, girl, grow up. And it's just like, no, I it's will so never funny. grow up. I, I love, love it. it. Yes. It, it can, and you know, I, I especially do it with dudes. You know, yes, because that's the way to flirt with a dude. You know yes. what I mean? When you can kind of like fake mad, be fake yes. mad at them and stuff, yes. and you pout like. Yes. yes, a man will bring out the child in you. That is true. If you're like in love or in flirt and having a good time, mm -hmm. that'll definitely bring out the child in you. Yeah, especially when you want some, so. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. <laughs> I meant a gift, okay? Oh my God. A different kind of gift, Lonnie. Yeah. Yes. A certain kind of present. Um, I'm trying to think what I do. I, let's see, my, I am a crybaby as you guys know. So I for me, too. I just sit there and I cry and I cry and I cry. Or, oh gosh, I do this to my husband and I hate it because um, he never does what I want him to do after I do it. Um, you know when you have like a little argument and you say something, whatever, then you run upstairs and you close the door. Yes, oh, yes. you slam it. Yeah, you slam it like really hard. Then you're waiting for them to come up and oh. ask you like, what's wrong? <laughs> Then they don't come up. Have you ever put your ear against the door yeah. to see if they're gonna come back up? <laughs> Nothing. Dang. That's well, a you hard ever, You ever hang up the phone? Like you're on a phone call yes. with them and you, and hang you up, want them to call back? And they don't call no, back. They don't. Like... Yeah, that's true. That's a you be hard waiting. Yes. Be like, oh, okay. Yes. I'm like, all right. You know, yeah, it's some childish up. things you don't need to do, okay? <laughs> you know, when you work with the same people every day, you really get to know them for mm -hmm. good and for bad. <laughs> So guys, I think it's time for Let's Face It. Okay, here's how this is gonna work. We all have paddles with our faces on them. We're gonna read out some questions or statements and hold up our paddles revealing our answers. And let's face it, this is gonna be good. Yes. All right, ready? Yes. Okay, get I'll ready start. for the palm okay. trees. All right, which host is most likely to ask to borrow $20? I would say Lonnie. Jeannie. I said Lonnie just cause, I don't know, she's always she hitting said. up the bar after work. <laughs> it's you, Jeannie. No, because no. it's Jeannie, Jeannie. <laughs> me? Oh, you, you think it's me too? Yes, Why? I do. I think it's because, um, I'm gonna use a different, oh, sometimes Jeannie, <laughs> This is no. so hard. You know it ain't good. Oh, Go. my God. Go. 
Okay, Jeannie, See. I mean this in the most loving way, okay? That always means sometimes break yourself Jeannie is jacked always, up. Yeah, sometimes Jeannie is always trying to save a buck. So, <laughs> you would be willing to ask someone else uh, for $20. Sometimes you can be a little cheap, Jeannie. Oh. That's what she tried to say. So, I, yeah, I agree. I right? thought it was gonna be me. Why? Really? I just never have cash on me, ever. No. Okay. Okay. Ever. I but don't you have. have I okay. never have cash, though. Like, cash, cash. But your husband is always with you, see? That's and now I know who I can ask. These two heifers right here for 20 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. I'm gladly give I it love, to you. Thank you. There you go. I would. That's so cool. Jeannie, I love it. Okay, next <laughs> question is, which host is most likely to make you late? Oh, please. Excuse me. So Whoa. easy. Y'all gonna stop with that because... Because... Well, if I make you late, it's because I'm talking to you or something. But I would like to say I am always first down. Don't play yourselves right now. We have it recorded. It's true for no. work, but I am always of that work. is true. No. I am always on always. time for work. And, and, but I'm and always late for everything else yes. in life. And the best part is when Adrian says, I'm gonna be there in five minutes, she's 30 minutes away. Hundred yeah, percent. Exactly. You know. And always count on that. Okay. That's true. Here's another one. Go for it. That's All right. true. Who do you think would be the most embarrassed by their Google search history? Oh. Oh, y'all not gonna yes. try me. Cause yes. I have no problem saying it myself. It is definitely me. Oh, y'all don't know what I be looking on why, Google. But that's why, guess what? I have a new Google search. I am no longer Adrian Bailon. Google search Adrian Houghton. She does good things in this world. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay. Growing up and doing good things, positive things. Thank you very much. Okay. Which of us is most likely to come to work hungover? Oh, that's easy. Lonnie. I say. Lonnie. Yo, let's Wait. be real. We've known each other for too long, ladies. We've had a good drink or five the night before. All of us have come yeah, to work hungover. Yeah, I'm going to say everybody. Come yeah. on. Really? Yeah. yeah. You too, Tam. The other day when you said you had too much wine with Adam. You're right. Yeah. I'm yes. hung over right now, so I'm just gonna... <laughs> All right. This is getting really all juicy. Okay, I'm ready. I'm okay. excited. Okay. Which host would be most likely to get accused of a crime they didn't commit? Uh, Ooh, a crime they didn't commit, accused of. Hmm. I don't know. I might be. Maybe. Ooh. ooh, I don't know. It's in between. I think Jeannie. I only say or me because Adrian. I'm clumsy and I get into situations I don't really Did think about. <laughs> so I, I, I think it could be me. But you're responsible, and you're. Oh no, it's not you. But Aid, really? Maybe. No, Tamara, because Tamara wouldn't know that she did the crime. Yes. <laughs> so. Yes. Since today is National Go For Broke Day, where you give it all, regardless of the challenges ahead, we thought we'd play one of our favorite new games where you have to put it all on the line. We'll give you three chances to win big or take your earnings and run. Who has the guts to play? Go big or go home. Woo! <laughs> Here's the deal. Adrian, Jeannie, and Lonnie all have boxes with fabulous prizes underneath. Want to take home what's inside? You have to earn it by correctly answering some trivia questions. Who wants to play? All right, Playing today will be Destiny Franco! Where are you, Destiny? Get on down here and go big or go! Oxnard, California. Oxnard! Hey. I know the Nard. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna ask you a trivia question okay. revolving around spring. Okay. And if you get it right, we'll reveal what's in box number one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then you must decide if you want to go big or go home. Ah. You can walk away and keep that prize or risk it all by going for the next box and the next question. Get all three questions right and you're going home with everything. Woo! Woo! But if at any point you're wrong, you're going home empty handed, oh. okay? <laughs> so, are you ready? Woo! Let's ready. do that. Yes. 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 I'll take that again. Yes. Yes. Okay. Get it, get it. For box number one, here's your question. 
Lonnie and that dance. April move. showers bring May flowers. What? That's correct. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's see what you've scored, Adrian. Please show us what's in box number one. $150. Okay, do you like those? Yes, you beautiful. do. Well, you can keep them and walk away, or you can try your hand at another question in the hopes of winning another box. So what do you say? Go big or go home? Okay, I'll go big. She's going big. Right. You're still in this. For box number two, Here's your question. Also referred to as a girl's best friend, what birthstone represents the month of April? Girl's best friend? The diamond. Yes! That is correct! That's smart. You want another prize, Jeannie? Show us what's in box number two, please. Uh, I have a pair of pink JP pumps worth $350. They are gorgeous. Do you like them? Yes. You do. Beautiful. Okay, Thank well, you. you can keep them and the sunglasses and walk away, or risk it all and try your hand at another question in hopes to win everything. So what do you say? Go big or go home? Go big. You're going big. She's going big. Thank okay, you. Okay, for box number three, plus everything you've just won, here's the final question. Lonnie's uh -oh. really excited. <laughs> Fresh vegetables wrapped in rice paper make up this popular Vietnamese menu item. Sushi? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, I love it. Uh. Oh! Answer was spring roll. Oh Girl. my God! I know. Oh, you gotta come over to my house. I'm gonna make you some spring roll. Yes. Spring roll. I thank you. you. That is the end of the road for you. And you won't okay. be taking home any prizes today. It's okay, no but worries. you're still taking home a real T-shirt. Oh yeah! yeah. Good catch. Thank you, thank you. All right, and for fun. I know. Let's see what was in box number three, Lonnie. What was in box number three? I had a sack oh. of for $495. Oh, okay. All right, and that's Thank the you. game. Thanks for playing Go Big or Go Home. Thank you. When we're cooking for friends and family, we like to impress people. But what if I told you that there are simple things you may be doing wrong that are keeping your food from tasting its best, the horror? Today we're serving up info you need to raise your meal game once and for all. This is Supper One Upper. Hello, ladies. Hello, Thank Lonnie. you so much for coming over to me in my kitchen in the studio and cooking yes. with me tonight. Now, tonight's menu is going to be seared steak with sauteed spinach and crispy potatoes. <laughs> Sounds delicious. OK, I've given you each something to do. So you know, you're going to do the spinach. OK. Sure thing, Lonnie. Hold that, Tim! Jeez. That is a big fail. Oh. Why? What's, what's the big deal? <laughs> Tamara Maury Housley. What? You're not supposed to put freshly washed spinach in the pan without drying it first. It's all wet. It's going to be all wet, and then you're going to try to add oil to it, and it's not going to look right. And it's going to leave leftover water in it, and it's not going to be right. So you know what you have to do? What? I thought about this. You have to always dry your spinach before putting it into the pot, oh. like this. See? There you go. Oh, you're right, Lonnie. I know. Thank you. You're welcome. OK, Jeannie. Yes. You have the honors of searing the steak. Steak. Got it, coming up, chef. La 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 la. Hold up, JD. <laughs> That's another fail. Oh, why? Well, I hate to be a nudge, but 
You're really not supposed to put cold meat directly into a hot pan. Doing that means it won't cook evenly and it'll be all messed up and I won't like it. It'll be overdone and some part will be not done on the inside. So if you want to sear a perfectly piece of steak, Kay. take it out, let it sit for 20 minutes. That's when it'll get to room temperature before putting it in that hot pan. So fortunately, I happen to have a piece of steak right here oh. that I already had. Use that. Wow. Okay, Lonnie, that's such a great tip. You definitely saved our steak. Yes! <laughs> All right, Munchkin. Yes! It is your turn. I would like some crispy potatoes. Can you grab me some and put it in the pan? Sure, hold up. Uh... <laughs> well, look what I got here. That is a non-stick pan, Mark. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's another fail, Adrian. Wait, what? Why? Yes. Adrian, I know it may not seem like a huge deal because a lot of people do this, but you're not supposed to use a non-stick pan with everything. I mean, non-stick pans are great for eggs and pancakes and things yeah. that don't get crispy, but they give off much less heat, so you're not gonna get the crispiness that you need. What you need is a big old cast iron steam pan. Oh, go. gosh. <laughs> That'll do the job. So when you want something crispy, you don't want to use a non-stick pan. Just yeah. remember that, okay? I never knew that. Thank you so much, Lonnie. You're welcome. I had no idea. All right, ladies, it's time to eat. Wait, but Lonnie, none of us actually got to cook anything. My steak's still cooking right yeah. now. Yeah. It's not gonna uh, be done. Don't worry, Tam Tam. It turns out I prepared a fully prepared meal for Woo! you ladies right here. Bon appetit. Lonnie, you really are a supper one-upper. Thanks for showing us how to avoid these everyday kitchen fails. We all know how important it is to get a good night's sleep, but there are some nights where no matter how hard you try, you just can't seem to get those important eight hours of rest. What a nightmare. Today, we're here to help. It's a dream come true. Get ready, because we're gonna show you all how to become sleeping beauties. <laughs> Trying to get more blanket, Tam. You do you this know? every no, night. I, I don't no. know why we haven't figured out a way to sleep peacefully through the night yet. I'm just, I'm just so tired, I'm so tired. I'm... <laughs> Jamie! Jamie! What's the problem? You're snoring again. You really need to get that under control. Gosh. Oh my God, you're so mean, you're not perfect. Oh, I can't control my snores when I sleep. You know what, I've got just a thing for you, Jeannie Beans, all right? What? Uh, let me go reach up in here. <laughs> it's an anti-snore sleep chin strap. What? Yeah, you know, chin straps like these are clinically proven to help you get a better night's sleep by keeping your mouth closed. You need to wear this during the day, too. You and ensuring that you don't snore. Just put it on. By supporting and closing your jaw, it clears your airways and the soft palate restrictions that cause snoring. Wearing this strap will help you breathe deeply and clearly while you sleep. So quiet the racket. We're trying to get our beauty sleep over here so we can be fresh and ready for tomorrow's show. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep, Jeannie Bean. <sighs> Thank God, you guys. She's asleep. You saved us, Lonnie. Yes. Oh, great. Crap, now I'm awake. And everyone else is sleeping. <sighs> Cheap. Adrian! Adrian what? I, I can't sleep. I got something for you, Munch. Hold on, let me look down here. What you are know. you getting from under this blanket? Here, put these on. These are called the Hush headphones, okay? Oh. They connect wirelessly to your mobile phone so you can still hear notifications <gasps> like your alarm clock or an cool. emergency phone call, but they block out everything else. And they charge up to at least eight hours and provide soothe, soothing sounds like white noise, raindrops, <gasps> forest sounds. Ooh, and I just heard a wave crash right now. See, so you can fall asleep and stay asleep. That's great, isn't it? Oh, oh. All right, now, much kids you go to sleep. She sleep? Oh my gosh, Lonnie, whoa, it worked. Now that's but, acting. Yes. <laughs> you know what? 
good thing you have those under the covers the whole time, right? Mm -hmm. Right, mm -hmm. guys? Guys? Oh, well, guess it's time to finally turn in. <sighs> Oh gosh, stop moving. Sorry. Tamara! Guys, now I'm awake. I can't sleep. Oh, don't worry, Tam Tam. I got the fix. Okay. Come here, hold on. Okay. I got some down here. Check it out. It's the glow to sleep mask, all right? Oh. You see these four lines right here? You activate them by holding the mask to a light source for 30 seconds. And when you put the mask on, they'll emit a low blue glow light on the inside of the mask. Simply okay. hold your gaze on one of the light points to slow down the pace of your mind, and it'll help you fall asleep instantly. Now you can start daydreaming, Tam Tam. <laughs> <laughs>